My name is Sinead Sutton. I'm 16 years old and I'm a contemporary Indigenous artist with family links to the Kalkadoon people from Mount Isa in Queensland. How did I first discover that I had artistic ability? <laughs> well, I'd always loved drawing ever since I was a child, but I'd never really painted before until I was in Year 9 and I was encouraged by my school to enter the first Indigenous art competition that I'd ever entered. I ended up coming first place and I've been painting ever since. Well, the tribe that I want to tell stories about and why is the Kalkadoon people from Mount Isa in Queensland. I'm very proud to be a Kalkadoon woman and unfortunately there's a lot of stories that have been lost and a lot of dances that have been lost and I sort of want to bring them back and show them with share them with others. What are some of the iconic stories and history that I've already told? Well, that would have to be um, the Battle of Battle Mountain. I've done a large painting of that and that's actually one of the first paintings that I'd ever done. It's about um, the last battle that the Kalkanoons ever had against the Europeans and unfortunately that was when they, most of them were wiped out and most of the stories were taken away as well. And um, that's had a huge influence on most of, on a majority of my art, especially the more traditional stuff. I actually went and saw Battle Mountain when I was up in Mount Isa and it was a fantastic experience. We took many photos of it and it's just something that's very touching to my heart because it's such a big part of my history as well and it's something that I want to continue sharing with others. How did I first get the opportunity to exhibit at Parliament House? Well I donated a painting to the Bundaberg Merrill Chaplaincy Support Raffle and I was lucky enough to sit next to Robin Fern Messenger and Rob was the MP for Burnett at the time. Um, it was there that Robin Fern decided that they'd try and get me an exhibition at Parliament House and encouraged me to submit a letter to Mr Speaker. He then accepted the letter and with the help of Robin Fern it sort of went from there. The response from Parliament House was amazing. I met so many wonderful people and it was a great experience. And I ended up selling 17 pieces of, well all of my pieces, out of 24. Um, and it's definitely something I'll remember. What sort of prices did my artwork fetch? Well, my artwork ranged from about 500 at the lowest to 3,200. One of the first paintings that I actually sold was one for 3,200, so I was very happy with that. Well, after the exhibition, I donated one of my paintings to Parliament House, which is now hanging on level five, the reconciliation level. Afterwards, a few months after, they then contacted me and said there was such a great response from my first painting that they wanted another painting there. Um, I then gave them another painting which is hanging there and it's in the Undumbi room on the reconciliation level as well, which I'm very proud of. It's a fantastic honour to have two paintings hanging in Parliament House. The first painting is Ajaku Maru, which means all one country and it's about how Australia is always moving forwards and never backwards and how we will unite as one. The second painting is called Tuan Written Gathina and it means frog song and it's about the frog and how she brings the rain and new life. I would love to see a united Australia in the future. That's what I'm working towards. That's something that, I'm, that um, I'd love many other people to work towards as well. I know there's heaps of people that want, wanna, want that to happen. Well, I was recently contacted by Caritas Australia which is an international aid and development organisation that's part of the Catholic Church Australia. And they commissioned me to do two reconciliation paintings for them. Um, these paintings will fly down to Sydney in a few days time and they'll be hung at the main office at Caritas Australia. Well, both paintings are basically about um, unity and coming together and how we all must work together to a, to a united Australia and reconcile between each other. How do I show that symbolically in my paintings? Well that's mainly shown by the footprints which at the beginning 
they are all walking distinctly apart and nowhere near each other. Then as time slowly goes by, they all begin to intertwine and reconcile their differences. And um, they all end up at a campfire or dancing and that, that's when we're reconciled and when we all work as one. Um, should people contact me through my website if they want to see samples of my artwork and buy my artwork? Um, yes, they definitely should. Um, my website's www.sineesutton.com.au. Um, that's got many samples of my artwork, both ones that are for sale and ones for, that are sold. So they got many of my souvenirs on there as well. Um, it's a great way to get in contact with me and to have a to have a look at a sample of my artwork.